My name is Vic Muniz, I'm a visual artist and I live between Brooklyn, New York and Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. If you came into my studio today, you know, you'd have a choice of studios because I work between uh, Brazil in Rio and New York. My work, it, it's, it's just about mapping up the idea of representation and for, to do that, you know, I cannot be uh, confined in a specific uh, space. When I realized that the size of the studio was having an immediate effect on my work, I started you know, subverting that and uh, um, trying to make work that would fit in the studio. I think the idea of art making you know, has to do, doesn't really have to do with being in a specific place uh, or, or you have to go way beyond that. I think the world is my studio. You know, I've been, I set myself this really ridiculous task of working with very unorthodox things, like uh, from jelly beans to uh, uh, you know garbage, toys, money. Every different material that I choose to make art with puts me in a different path, a different process. If I do that with materials, why not do that with scale? Why not do that with uh, different culture? I think the best way for an artist to uh, uh, manage their relationship with their studio is actually to think about what's inside and outside. The studio has to reflect an interior space, a mind. It's like almost if you're in a place that reflects what's inside your mind. So you have to surround yourself with things that really entice your curiosity, your, your, makes you think about other things. For me, a perfect day would be waking up around 6, 6.30, or take my kids to school or do something very practical, be part of you know, the flow of life. Come home, uh, do a lot of bureaucratic things, fix things, plan shows, shipments, and, and all the stuff that you, and also organize a little bit your ideas. You know. Wait till everybody goes out of the studio, and the studio is completely empty, and then I start working. The only thing that makes us different from all the other species is that we do not solve problems, we create problems to be able to solve them. We create models, you know? And uh, this makes us different. And by these models, we create units of belief. We are the only ones capable of creating fiction. And by doing so, you know, we deal with belief itself. When you think about a studio, a studio, a garden, a museum, a gallery, is this intermediate space. It's a space where uh, we can ritualize uh, uh, our experience with materials and with ideas. And it's a sort of an experience that these spaces are very important. You know, churches are like this too. Laboratories are like this. It's when we practice our relationship to the world that we live in. Art studios are very interesting and very important because of that.